So in the third part of the tutorial, we're going to learn how to finish the video off, how to get the slides to end up in the middle of the screen and finished off. Um, if you want to know how I've done anything so far, you will have to refer to parts one and two. If you've noticed there in the meantime, since the last tutorial, I've brought up number four, three and two there, Indonesia, United States and India. I'm just going to do number one in front of you so we can just have another look at how I, how I go about it. Um, and how we go about it is obviously we're using this slide, we constantly use this slide, copy and paste, and that's all I've done with the three that are up above. Keep it in the one position so that you can keep your shape in the same position, like, like I said. Just ungroup. If you go back to remember that was 681, and that's how it needs to stay. Just get rid of that, and then put him to front, because I've got him earlier, remember, and then pop him in. So 681 and then just change the name of the country China and luckily I know the figure so I don't have to go looking for it it's 1.412 million and that's it you just change the figure change the country change the flag and then once you've done that just regroup that's it and then pop it back into 1925 and 1 obviously not this one because that one's going to be last but that was just how we go about. The reason we move them, see where Pakistan is. The reason we move them away is because we have to animate the country flag. If it was just the, if it was just the shape, typing in, we wouldn't have to ungroup and regroup. But because we're doing the, because we're doing the, the country ball, we have to ungroup and regroup. And the reason we move it away is because if we regroup on top of all the other builds, it will remove all the builds. That's why you have to take it out, ungroup it, put the put the new country ball in and then put it back. That's the that's the reason we do it. So let's do the end part then, because these are the last four. So Indonesia, pop it in to the position we want, 1925 and one look. Go to animate, action set, add an effect, move. Seconds to go from one side of the screen right across the other side. We're actually going to be sending them a shorter distance now. Indonesia is going to where Mexico was, so it's 12 seconds. Align to path, no acceleration. And then with build one, and then, like I said, everyone's on a three second delay. You basically want it to follow the last slide three seconds after. Basically, they just sit at the, light, the right hand side of the screen, and then every three seconds, it sends a new one off. The only time you don't do it is on the very, very first one. The very first one has to follow the original screen. So I think Nigeria was the first one. They followed, and but then every sub, even if you have a top thousand, every subsequent one just follows on three seconds after, three seconds after right up to the end so that's that so we're just going to pop him across the screen then but he's not going off the screen because it's number four so number four is going to pop into if you remember the original position on part one it was one and one 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 over 12 seconds that's done so then united states third 1925 and one perfect animate add an effect move nine seconds because that's going one place shorter. With build one, three second delay. And then pop him into position two, which I know is four, 82 and one. That's that. And then India. Just, I should just check it in position, sorry. Yeah, 1925 and 1, animate, add an effect, move. And then India will be 6 seconds. Align to path, no acceleration. With build 1. 3 seconds. Don't forget that delay. And then 963. And then China, pop it in. 19.25 and 1, you can see there. And then move China three seconds. And just pop them into 14.44 and 1. Right, so that's that. So that should be done. Let's just go back and watch it all. 
So the last four countries, uh, Indonesia, the United States, India and China, they should they should roll onto the screen and at that point the screen should stop. If I've got it right, Indonesia looks good. States is all right, India's all right, looks good, looks good. Yeah, so that's that, so that's worked. And it stops, unless I put a delay on something, it'll just go off. So I'll show you a little tip now about how to make it look nice at the end. And a lot of big channels do this, and it is very, very, very easy. Um, make another copy of this, like we did before. Copy and paste that slide. Then in slide three, what we do is we take China, move him out the way, and then scroll over absolutely everything and get rid and then put China to position one and one I missed a bit there so put him to one and one and then Take this build off, don't forget to do that. That's that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform that magic move again. It should be set to the magic move, no seconds. I'm gonna change that, I don't want it to be like a flash. I'm gonna change that to 0 0.3 seconds. What you'll see is you'll see China sort of fly across the screen really quickly. Um, I'll increase that a little bit just so that you get to look at the end screen before it transitions. I'll change that to 1.5 seconds. Um, I think that's it. So I'll go into that, and then what I'll do is, if you watch any of my videos, you'll notice what I do is I put a little bit of ending text on. I won't put anything fancy on now, but I'll just, I'll show you how I do it. Uh, let me just, no. China is the most Populous train in the world. Thanks for watching. Obviously, I'd normally put something a bit, a bit more informative than that, but just for the sake of showing you what I'm doing. Go to text, change it to white because it's on a black. If it's on a black background, obviously you want white. And while it's highlighted, just make it a bit bigger. And then what I do is put it there just to give yourself plenty of room for your end screen. Obviously, don't send it off the screen. China, yeah, I've not made a mistake there. So that's that. And then what you do, China's going to fly across the screen after the transition, and then that will just be on the screen. And then you want this to just pop up after the transition. So if I go to animate, build in, add an effect, and I always use the appear re after the transition. So after transition, uh, 0.3. And then on your, if you click on nothing again, if you go to magic move, I usually do magic move again. I usually do it over like 0.3, but I changed the delay because However long you put the delay on now is going to be how long you've got to read that before I stop the video. So I'll give it I don't know, maybe five or six seconds for an end screen. I'll give it six seconds. And that, I think, is the video done. So literally just delete everything, send China across the screen. You'll see like a flash across the screen. So I'll just, I'll just play it again. I think this is finished. Obviously, if I was making this video, I would number the I would number. I'd put a number box in the top corner of every one, and then just obviously group it with so that you can count the numbers as you go. But it was just for showing you how. This is just to show you how it's done. There you go. Look, see that? That was just a little slide across the screen, and then the appear text straight afterwards. And I think that's a pretty fancy way to finish your video off. Finish really. That's that's. I've shown you what I need to show you. So in part four, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks. If you make like what to do if you make a mistake. 
Um, just some general, and I'll show you a bit of fancy editing. Uh, the, the way I edit China at the end there is not the way I normally edit it. I normally edit it bit by bit, so I'll show you that a bit more in. So I'll show you some fancy stuff, and if you want to know again, like I mentioned in the last part, how to monetize this video now. What I'll say is, this type of video now you would struggle to monetize. If you made this on your channel, can't you would struggle to you'd struggle to get it monetized. If you want to monetize this sort of thing now, you need to add you need to add things, and I'll explain it in part four. So I hope you enjoyed part three, and I'll see you on the final part.